Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be working on how to duplicate or void a particular invoice. So let's head over to QuickBooks and over here I have a customer called Red Rock Diner. And in the Red Rock Diner, you can see that there is an invoice, invoice number 1023 of $70 due in two days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on the right and hit the drop down and in the drop down I can see a duplicate and I can see a void. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate. And a drop down opens in which I have the same invoice, the same thing, everything is the same and it is giving me a message, an error message. This is a copy of an invoice, revise as needed and save the invoice. So I just want to create a copy and I don't want to make any certain change. But let's say uh, I can click over here, send later, invoice date, due date, that is all okay with me. Maybe I want to change the quantity from two to three. And there you go, at the same price, 105, and that's it and I have to just save and close so they have saved invoice 1038 saved I can see the message up there and you can see that it is it has been created now let's head over to void and below void you can see that there is an option for delete as well so first of all I'm going to go over and I'm going to try and make it void I'm going to click on it and it's going to give me a message void invoice the invoice balance will go to zero and your customer won't be able to pay it you can't undo this so I'm going to still click on void so now you can see the message that it has been voided it remains here it will not remove the balance goes back to what it was before and let me refresh it And once I refresh it, you can see the balance is now 226. It was prior 331, which was adding for the 1005. Now I'm going to again create a duplicate invoice. I'm going to do the same process again. And a drop down comes and I'm going to change the date to 22. And again, I'm going to simply change the quantity to 3, hit tab and 105. What I'm going to do is save and close and the new invoice 1039 has been created you can see that the voided invoice is still there 1038 it is not removed from the system instead a new 1039 invoice number has been created and now let's try and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and delete this one and this delete option delete it and when I delete it, that one is completely removed from the system. And I'm going to refresh it. And when we come back, you can see that the balance for Red Rock Diner is back to $226. Over here, we're saying 296 so the reason why over there it's 226 and over here it's 296 is because it, this one is just summing up the entire column and this column has actually this estimated number which is an estimate but not an invoice over here we're seeing the balance of the red rock diner and the balance for the red rock diner would only add this invoice 1024 and $1,023.70, which comes to $226, not this converted one. And the ones which have been voided, its balance is, of course, it's gone, and so is the one that we deleted. I hope that explains it. Thank you very much, and see you in the next tutorial.